There was once a lover, it is said, who hath sighed for long years in separation from his beloved and wasted in the fire of remoteness. From the rule of love, his breast was void of patience and his body weary of his spirit. He reckoned life without her as a mockery and the world consumed him away. How many a day he found no respite from his longing. How many a night the pain of her kept him from sleep. His body was worn to a sigh and his heart's wound had turned him to a cry of sorrow. A thousand lives he would freely have given for one taste of the cup of her presence. And yet even this was not within his reach. The doctors knew no cure for him and companions avoided his company. Yea, physicians have no remedy for one sick of love unless the favor of the beloved deliver him. At last the tree of his longing yielded the fruit of despair and the fire of his hope fell to ashes. Then one night he could bear no more and he left his house for the marketplace. On a sudden, a watchman followed after him. He broke into a run with the watchman in swift pursuit. Then an other watchman came together and barred every passage to the weary one. And that wretched one cried from his heart and ran here and there and moaned to himself, surely this watchman is Israel, my angel of death, following so fast upon me, or he is a tyrant of men, prompted by hatred and malice. His feet carried him on, that hapless one bleeding with the arrow of love, while his heart lamented. Then he came to a garden wall and with untold pain and trouble, he scaled it. He saw that it was very high, yet forgetting his life, he threw himself down into the garden. And there he be beheld his beloved with a lamp in her hand, searching for a ring she had lost. When the heart surrendered lover looked upon his ravishing love, he drew a great breath and lifted his hands in prayer, crying, O oh God, bestow honor upon the watchman and riches and long life for the watch was gabriel guiding this poor one or he was israfil bringing life to this wretched one indeed his words were true for he had found many a secret justice in the seeming tyranny of the watchman and had seen how many a mercy lay hid behind the veil in one stroke of wrath, the guard hath joined one who was athirst in the desert of love to the sea of the beloved, and dispel the darkness of separation with the shining light of reunion. He had led one who was afar to the garden of nearness and guided an ailing soul to the heart's physician. Now, if the lover could have seen the end, he would from the beginning have blessed the watchman prayed God on his behalf and seen his tyranny as justice. But since the end was veiled to him, he lamented and made his plaint in the beginning. Yet those who journey in the garden land of true knowledge, since they see the end in the beginning, behold peace in war and conciliation in enmity.